Breyer, and I'm the director of student activities here at Hebrew Academy. I'm sorry I couldn't be there in person this evening to talk to you. However, hopefully this video will not only serve as, as a replacement for me, a substitute, but it will also give us the opportunity to actually look in firsthand on some of the clubs and electives that we have going on. So as opposed to just telling you about it, I can actually show you some of the things that we're doing. I'll start by telling you. We have a fantastic program on Mondays and Wednesdays where the students have electives and they can choose from any number of classes which they actually get an elective credit for. These include dance, ceramics, drama, graphic design, uh, physical education, the, our ingenuity program in the biology lab, karate, uh, working on the school. Put your dark colors first. Like even though you think those flowers are pink, maybe under them you put like orange or yellow, a deep, deep color, because that'll show through. Okay, does that make sense? The more colors you put, and the more layers you put, the more interesting your picture's gonna be. Oh, this is the Don't do your shadow with your gold pencil. You guys, I'm gonna use the. Don't, we're gonna. Like, no. I wanna hang this up with the Okay, you gotta finish it first. I think you folks are seeing the pattern here. We have shoes. Shoes galore. Shoes being drawn, painted, colored, pasteled. These are shoes. And aren't they beautiful? No, go Bobby! No, we're not working on that. Second by They use telescopic. I have my own tripod here. This is the Geographical Information Systems class, where the students are learning, well, geographical information systems. So you remember what the official language was for in Ireland? Who said Irish? <laughs> the person who said Irish was proud. Yeah, I said Irish. I said that. What do you yeah, mean? That's right. what they actually call it. I'm doing Ireland. Are you? Okay. No. <laughs> right now I'm reading about Australia. Well, did you all know though? In case you hadn't figured it out, this is our geography B team, and it's true. The official language in Ireland is Irish. Thank God we got that. Did you know that they We're here interviewing Mr. Kaczynski. He's our fishing coach. We happen to catch him in the steps. Now, even though today is not a fishing day, Mr. K, well, before you go, what are your big plans for the Thursday fishing elective? A 450 pound tuna. From our canals, right here in Miami Beach, a 450-pound tuna. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. K, thank you. We're here in the nerve center of the Hebrew Academy High School, where, as you can see, Donna, Evelyn, and Rabbi Levine are working diligently to make sure that our students have a fantastic program. I resent being called a nerd in the nerve center. No, I said the nerve center. Oh, nerve, never mind. <laughs> Times are you gonna walk in front of the camera here, people? I'm here in the elevator with Danny Partouche, our student council president. Danny, hi. say hi to the folks at home. Hi, folks. Do um, you have any uh, any comments on the great plans we have for their kids this coming school year? Great plans for this school year. Oh, fantastic! Thank you, Danny. Our curriculum is not only in books, but in students educating other students in the hallway with these excellent science posters by Mr. Cooper and Ms. Gray science classes. Well, that's a nice one. Uh, we're here with Mrs. Baumel and some of our big sisters and big brother who are going to be participating in the Tuesday Big Brother Big Sister program. Say hi, everybody. Hi. Right now, right now they're learning the basics. Why don't you tell us, Mrs. Baumel, what, what we're teaching them today? Right now, I'm teaching them to be my extra set of ears and eyes across the street with the elementary and middle school students. It's a very sensitive, important job that they're about to embark on and I want them to be well-trained about 
some of the factors that affect our students across the street and most importantly when they need to get me involved so we can help kids as much as possible. All right, thank you very much. And thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for taking on such an important role in the school. Thank you. No, we can put up, uh, uh, period. Oh, yeah, like another one? Remember, so oh, the rule of thumb. What are you doing? On yes. This? This <laughs> this <laughs> video <laughs> taping <laughs> Mr. Peppy. <laughs> that was so scary. I was like a camera. For the two sentences I want. You can use it where you can put it, period. <laughs> That's the rule of thumb. You use it for the link. Two independent clause. Okay. When you have one independent clause, we're here in the writing workshop of our Tuesday elective program. <laughs> they weren't expecting us, so they were a little bit surprised. And it rocks. <laughs> Mr. Peppy. Yes, sir. Say hi to all the folks at home. Hi, all folks at home. This period rocks. A little more progress on those shoes. It seems we've got some color in place now. Let's see. I did too. Do you understand what I'm saying? One period. No, you That's said quite that. a shoe there. No, I, I understand.